Hello friends and welcome to our little Preptober video. We're going to be prepping for a Nano this year and hopefully getting a lot of things done and doing a lot in this video. So if you saw my last video, I had this little board that pretty much had little goals that I wanted to get done in this video before January 1st. And so at the last video, I was at 12,000 words and I had about 40% of my story outlined. And the goal is to get to 20,000 words by November 1st and about 90% of the book plotted. I'm more strict with the word count goal than the plot goal honestly because I feel like being too strict with my outline might be not that necessarily because things can change. I feel like every day I'm learning something new about my story so yeah but if I have a rough little outline of what I want to happen in the story then that'll be pretty great. So currently it is October 25th and I have about 13,500 words done. And then I'll say about 60% outline. So we still have a couple thousand words to go and about 30% of the outline yet to somewhat finalize or at least try to figure out. So that is what we're going to be doing in this video. Let's go ahead and see what I'm able to accomplish before Nano. Hopefully I get a lot of things done and things go according to plan because like I said, I feel like if I can get 20,000 words done in 90% outline, I feel like I'll be setting myself up for success for November. In case you guys don't know, I'm writing a fiction book that's taking place in an alternate reality of America. It's election season in the most important city in the world and the FMC gets an internship for the mayor. It's very stressful during this time because like I said, it's election season and the pressure is on and there's also a fun little love triangle in this story as well. So far, I'm having fun with it. The dynamic in this love triangle is between our FMC Noah, the mayor, and her best friend and something that I was talking to my friend about not like was it today or yesterday was how I had an idea of how I wanted the personality of the mayor to be but it wasn't until I started writing in his point of view just how surface level of a description I feel like I had about him and like in terms of his characteristics and who he is because I always describe him as like a grumpy man he's mean he's rude he's cold eventually we'll grow to like him but that's pretty much how we're introduced to him and I just finished writing in his POV and this was the second chapter in his point of view. I remember I was reading the first chapter in his point of view and this current chapter in his point of view trying to make sure like the tone was the same and all that stuff and something that's so I guess challenging is that trying to switch between multiple point of views can be kind of difficult especially when I'm like thinking and like really trying to be in the headspace of one character and then in the next chapter we like switch over over. So that has been a, a learning curve. And then also something that's been interesting, like I was talking about earlier, is how even if I say like, okay, the mayor is grumpy, that doesn't really say very much. And I was just like looking through a lot of books that I've read where the tropes were grumpy sunshine and realizing how grumpy sunshine isn't really just like a flat, all encompassing description of who these characters are. You can have a grumpy guy, but he could be grumpy for a plethora of reasons and how he's grumpy can come off in a lot of different ways as well. Like for example, I can have a character who is rude because he just doesn't care or he's rude because he has more important things to do. He's rude because that's just how he was raised like and he just thinks that this is how a person in his position should be. But then there's also a grumpy where it could be like he's rude and he's grumpy because he tries to push people away or he's rude and grumpy because maybe in a way he doesn't really see how it comes off to other people and how it could like actually affect them and their experience around him in the workplace and I don't know I feel like there's so many ways to go about making a grumpy character explaining why they are the way that they are and everything that like forms them to be this character and so trying to write in his point of view and seeing like how he's thinking has been really interesting because I'm like writing like okay he says something that's extremely rude right now but why did he say it and and is he taken aback by certain responses? Is he like, I don't know why she's mad at me when I'm just being honest type of thing. Or he's like, I don't care that that was rude. I'm just going to be rude anyways. Like stuff like that. I just think that's really fun. So I 
have six days until November 1st. I'm really gonna try my best to write as much as I possibly can because I do wanna have this video up before November 1st and also have all the writing done. I wanna reach 20,000 words and then also I wanna edit this video, upload this video all within October. So let's see what I can do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Let's go ahead and get to writing. So it's been a couple days. I really don't even remember what day it was when I last updated you, but it is now October 30th. Last I checked, because I'm trying to keep track here, I had 60% of the book outlined and 13,500 words. And so at this moment in time, I'm at 16,000 words, which is really exciting because I'm, that shows that I'm making progress. But that means that I have all of today and tomorrow to reach 20,000 words to be ready for nano. So I'm going to try my best to end the vlog at 18,000 words just because I want to get this up in October. Like, is that ambitious of me to try to edit this whole thing and then have it up? I don't know but let's see what i can get done today i'm gonna to try my best to hit oh there's a what um i'm in the middle of filming so probably not yeah so i'm gonna hang up right now i'm just I'm gonna hang up right- I'm gonna- okay, bye! So I'm gonna try to end this video at 18,000 words or as close as 18,000 as I can get and then stay tuned and follow me on Instagram because then I will update you if I actually hit 20,000 words by November 1st which am I delusional to think that I can write 4,000 in the next two days? I don't think so because the words be flowing but I'm going to a cafe right now anyways so hopefully once I'm there I can get at least a thousand let's shoot for a thousand words so that's just my quick little update and I'll update you once I'm done with the cafe <laughs> day i am pretty happy with the things that i was able to accomplish today i wrote about a thousand words so we are at about seventeen thousand words which is really nice i don't remember what i said in my last clip if i'm being completely honest i was very scatterbrained there was a lot of things going on in the background that was overwhelming me but i think i might have messed up the dates it's october 29th i don't know if in the last one i said it's october 30th but I don't know, but it's October 29th. I think we're gonna end it with 17,000, but I'm going to keep writing until I fall asleep, honestly. And then hopefully by tomorrow, we hit 18,000 words and then I can just edit this video and get it up. Also something I don't know if I mentioned before, I outlined 60% of my book. I think I should be able to reach at least like 80% by tomorrow. So October 30th, hopefully we're at 18,000 words and then 80% percent of the draft is completed and then that leaves october 31st which is when i'm hoping to get this vlog up i can finish the other 10 percent of the outline and then the other 2000 words of the book and then nano officially starts so that's the goal i will try my best to continue to update on instagram so you can keep up with me there but I am feeling so excited about my story, honestly. I'm at a point where, I mean, I guess the love triangles maybe starting to develop, I don't know. But 
I'm really excited about that and I just love writing and reading things with tension and drama and stuff like that. If you know me then you know the messier a book is the better. So I'm pretty much admitting to writing a messy book. That is just my bread and butter. It's kind of funny to me because if you don't know, was it a couple days ago now? I think I did a live stream. It was a book club live stream where we just talked about books and some people said that they just don't like love triangles and if somebody would love to enlighten me about that tell me why because I love love triangles like it's just so chaotic and messy and I love as a reader too if it's done right feeling so torn about who I want the FMC to choose or of course it's like she's part of it and let's say her love interest also has another love interest just like the drama that ensues with that I just really really enjoy it in case I didn't mention what my story is about at all in this vlog I am currently writing a contemporary romance i think i'm just gonna go ahead and settle with labeling it as a contemporary romance but it's taking place in an alternate reality there's lots of political injustices and an election going on and a love triangle and power imbalances and just a lot of fun stuff that i'm really really excited about so go ahead and watch my writing playlist if you want to know more in detail about my story yeah i'm just having so much fun and i'm gonna continue writing for the night and then I will come back tomorrow once I hit 18,000 words do a little debrief with you start talking maybe a little bit about nano if there's anything to be shared there and then end the writing vlog so yeah I will catch you guys tomorrow so it is the 9th of October 30th and I'm almost at 18,000 y'all but I'm just gonna go ahead and count it because I really need to edit this vlog before November 1st so I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I hit 18,000 words and in terms of outlining I think I've got let's say like 75% done so we're almost at 18,000 and we're almost at 80% outlined which I think is good enough because then tomorrow I can work on reaching hopefully 20,000 and then having 90% outlined though I'm not going to stress about it too much because this is just an arbitrary goal and nano is coming up so like if I don't have 20,000 words and I don't have 90% of my book outlined by November 1st it's really not that serious because in nano that's really when we're going to be kicking the writing into full gear and getting things done which brings me to what I kind I want to talk about and that is my NaNoWriMo goals. So from my understanding, NaNo you're supposed to hit 50,000 words or complete your whole novel and while hitting 50,000 words and completing my novel would be amazing best case scenario and all that I don't know if that's really what I want to aim for primarily because I just don't want to have goals that are more focused on quantity than quality that might be kind of silly just because I feel like nano is really just about getting the words down but I kind of want to have a certain point in my story reached by the end of nano I would say right now I'm about I don't know how long I want this book to be like I feel like 100k is a good thick book <laughs> I don't know but it could be also anywhere maybe between like 65 and a hundred thousand words so if we're going based on that then I'm probably like 20 percent 30 percent done oh my god that sounds kind of crazy I don't know let's just say 20 percent done with my book just to keep it simple let's say my book ends up being a hundred thousand words I'm at 18 to 20 percent done I would like by the end of nano to be around halfway and so that would be I guess what is that 30,000 words if I'm going by the 100,000 words arbitrary number I just threw out there and I want to really try to focus on not rushing it and like try to make revision as easy as possible for me which is easier said than done because things could definitely change and I could have a lot of things be different by the end of this book but if I can get to halfway and have some really good quality writing and like I won't have to like scrap too many things in draft two then i'll be really happy because knowing myself even now i go back and forth a lot between previous chapters not really to edit but just to make sure that i'm fact checking things that i've already established and making sure that i'm not making holes in my story or having contradicting plot points so knowing that i just think that's going to take up a lot of time with nano and having fifty thousand words or completing my book might not be likely so i think that's my goal i don't even know 
if I can say that that's a safe goal. Just a goal that I'd be so happy if I can achieve by the end of the month. And then let's say I do this great and I'm just like I had a schedule or whatever. Then I think it would be really cool to get to like the climax of my book, which I already have a vague understanding of what I want to be. So yeah, that would be so fun. I am so excited to write that part. If I don't get to it, that is fine. That is like my big, big goal. But previous goal of just making it to the halfway point of my novel, that is the most important thing that I really would like to achieve. And that's also really exciting to me because in my book, it's romance and it's a love triangle and all that stuff that I talked about before. And I'm telling you y'all, I'm so excited to finally like write this part. Cause I think for me, cause we love a slow burn, right? And we love all that stuff. And reading it can be like something that I get very impatient about. Like I will be flipping through pages trying to figure out when are they gonna finally get together or when is like the feelings gonna be shared and stuff like that when I'm reading. But then as a writer, I can't do that. And like, I understand, like you can totally write things out of order. There's nothing wrong with writing things out of order, but I just want, I just wanna like reward myself, if that makes sense. I want to get to the point where I've built all this up and I feel like it will only like make it turn out even better knowing what I've been through with these characters and how much they want to be together that when I finally make that scene of them being together that it'll just be better you know what I mean like I don't want to just like write like oh like I, I love you I love you or whatever I want to see them fall in love hopefully that makes sense but anyways um I think that is all that I have to say I am so excited for Nano I hope you guys are excited for Nano I will be doing a NaNoWriMo vlogs this month they'll probably be all of the videos I do honestly in November unless I have extra time and just throw out another video here but I'm super excited let me know what your goals are for Nano I'm sure there's gonna be so many writing sprints and live streams coming up this month I know for sure I'm already gonna be doing one so stay on the lookout if I end up doing more but I I hope you guys have a great little NaNoWriMo and yeah I will see you guys in my first NaNo writing vlog bye